My dear P5 learners, I hope you are doing well. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel. In our previous lesson, we looked at how we can write numbers from Hindu Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. And I remember I explained very well that Roman numerals are grouped into three categories. I told you there are some Roman numerals which you are going to write by subtracting. There are some Roman numerals which you also write by adding. And finally, we looked at Roman numerals which you can write by, by repeating. Okay? And I told you that Roman numerals which repeat are those ones that begin with 2 and 3. Then Roman numerals which are got by subtraction are those which begin with 9 and 4. Then the rest of the Roman numerals I told you that you are supposed to get by adding. Can we remind ourselves, if you are told to write, for example, 169 in Roman numerals, what do you do? I told you the first step you are supposed to expand. And you can expand horizontally or vertically. So if I expand this number horizontally, what shall we have? 9 is in the place values of 1. 6 is in the place values of 10. 1 is in the place value of 100. So 1 times 100, we shall get 100. 6 times 10, we shall get 60. Plus 9 times 1, we shall get 9. So how do we write 100 in Roman numerals? I told you you are supposed to look at the table of the basic 7. And the table of the basic 7, you will find that 100 is there. So how do we write 100 in Roman numerals? It is going to be capital C. What about 60? 60 is going to be got by adding on 50. So it is 50 plus 10, which will be L standing for 50, then plus 10, which is going to give you 60. What about 9? 9 is going to be got by subtracting. 9 is going to be got by subtracting. What do we subtract? It is 10. What do we take away to get 9? 1. So in Roman numerals, you begin with the number you are subtracting, which is I subtracted from X. Bring those letters together. This one is going to give you C. LX, IX. Therefore, 169 is going to give us CLXIX as our answer. What about if we have been given a number which is 344? 344, okay? What do we do here? Do the same, expand. Ones, tens, hundreds. Three times a hundred, that is three hundred. Four times ten, we are getting forty. Uh, four times one, we are getting four. <clears throat> How do we write three hundred? I told you that any number that begins with three or two, you are going to repeat. So three is in hundreds. So it means we shall have to repeat a hundred three times. And 100 is written as C, C, C. 100 plus 100 plus 100 to get 300. What about 40? I told you those which begin with the 4 and the 9, you subtract. So we shall get 50. What do we take away to get 40? 10. So we shall have 10, which is subtracted from 50, L. 4 is also got by subtracting. It is 5 minus 1 to get 4. So it is 1, then 5. Therefore, when I bring this one together, it is going to give me C, 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 X, L, I, V. 
Therefore, 344 will give us CCCXLIV. In our lesson today, we are going to look at more about Roman numerals. More about Roman numerals. But this one is going to be more of application. Someone may tell you that John weighs. John weighs. John weighs 35 kilograms. John weighs 35 kilograms. Find his weight in Roman numerals. John weighs 35 kilograms. Find his weight in Roman numerals. So, what is the trick here? The trick here is to maintain the units which have been given. So, we shall have 35 kilograms. You expand as usual. This is one's tens. Okay? So, this one is going to give us 30 plus a 5. But just maintain the unit, kilograms. Okay? So how do we write 30 in Roman numerals? 3. Do you remember Roman numerals which repeat? Those ones which begin with 2 and 3. So this is 30, which means we are going to repeat 10. So we shall have 10, 10, 10. That is 30. What about 5? That is V. But don't forget that you are dealing with kilograms. Therefore, this one is going to give us X, 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 V. You leave a space. Kilograms. You leave a space, then you write the units given. You give the units given. Let's have another example. My house was built in nineteen eighty seven. My house was born in was built in 1987. In which year? Was my house built? Okay. My house was built in 1987. In which year was my house built? Okay? So, what are we going to do here? We shall expand. 1987. We expand horizontally or vertically. So, this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So this one is going to give us one times a thousand, which is a thousand. Nine times a hundred, which will give you nine hundred. Eight times ten, which will give you eighty. Seven times ones, which will give you seven. Okay? So how do we write one thousand? One thousand is written as M. What about 900? Under which category do we have 100 subtraction? So, we shall get 1,000. We take away 100 to get 900. So, beginning with the number you are subtracting. We are subtracting 100, which is a C. And we are subtracting this from 1,000. So, I write CM. What about 80? 
8 is going to be got by adding. So it is 50, which is L, plus 10, that is 60, plus 10, that is 70, plus another 10, that is 80. What about 7? We shall get 5, we add on 1, that is 6, we add on another one to get 7. Therefore, bring these ones together, we shall have M, capital M, C, M, arrow X, 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 V, I, I. Therefore, our answer will become M, C, M, L, X, 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 V, I, I. And this one will be our answer. Let's have another example. Let's have another example. Add. And what are we adding? 162 plus 78. And give your answer. Give your answer in Roman numerals. Okay? Add 162 plus 78 and give your answer in Roman numerals. Okay? So what do we do in this case? We need to first of all add. So we are adding 162. We add there 78. What are we going to get? 2 plus 8, we get 10. We carry 1. 1 plus 6, we get 7. 7 plus 7, we shall get 14. We carry 1. Okay? 1 plus 1, we are getting 2. But they have told you that you should give your answer in Roman numerals. So this answer here should be written in Roman numerals. Therefore, 240 is going to give me, okay, we expand, ones, tens, hundreds. Two times 100, 200. Plus, four times 10, we get 40. Plus, zero times ones, we get zero. So even if I don't write this one. How do we write 200? 200 is going to be got by repeating. And what are we repeating? Hundreds. So this one is going to be hundreds C, C. What about 40? 40 is got by subtraction. 40 is in the tens. So the next number in the tens is 50. You take away 10. So it is 10 subtracted from 50. Therefore, this one is going to give you C, C, X, L. Okay? So our answer 240 has been given as C, C, X, L as our answer. Let's look at one more example. One more example. Number four. Number four. Peter was born in 1985. Peter was born in 1985. Right. His age in Roman numerals. Peter was born in 1985. Write his age. Write his age. The key word here is age in Roman numerals. Many kids here are going to Begin writing this one in Roman numerals. Is this one his age? 
If we were born in 2000, does it mean that you are 2000 years? No. If you are born in 2010, does it mean that you are 2010 years? No. So how do we calculate someone's age? You get the current year minus the year you were born, then you will get your age. I've said to get someone's age, you get the current year minus the year you were born. So this man Peter was born in 1985. Okay? Write his age. How old is he now? So to get his age now, we get the current year. What is the current year? 2020, which is 2020. Then we take away the year he was born, 1985. 1985. Eight-five. Nineteen eighty-five. We get the difference. Zero take away five. We are going to get this one is smaller than five, so we regroup. This is one. We get a group of ten from here, so this one is ten. Ten take away five, that is five. One take away eight, we have to regroup, but the neighbor has nothing to give us. So we shall come to this one. This one is now 10. You get 10 from this one, we remain with 9. Then this one becomes 11. So 11 take away 8, we are going to get 3. 9 take away 9, 0. 1 take away 1, 0. So how old is Peter now? 35 years. Having got his age, it is now in Hindu Arabic numerals. But the answer you have been told, it should be in Roman numerals. So we shall have 35, which is going to give us an expanded form, 30 plus 5. And this is someone's age. How do we write 30? X, X, X. What about 5? V. But this one is someone's age. Age. Therefore, when I bring these ones together, we shall have x, 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 v. Then we say yes. Okay? We say yes. So, having shown you this, I know you can get as many questions as you can, as long as you read the textbooks which your parents bought for you. Make use of those books. They have a variety of questions. For me, I've given you four questions, but in those books you can get very many. Please, sit down and get many more questions. When you practice in mathematics, it's when you will...